What's up guys, this is Cherokee Ronnie back at you with another video for Big Guy. But today we're going to be talking about heat soak. Um, I hear some crazy things about some heat soak, how they solve heat soak. So this is going to be another talking video because there's a time where we can go out and fix our Jeeps and show how-to videos, but there's, some, uh, there's a time where we need to sit down and talk and explain to you what heat soak is or other problems and how to cure it. So I'm going to explain what heat soak is and why it does it and if you stick around to the end of the video I'm going to tell you how to cure it. And if you guys want to see a video on it, um, which it's pretty self-explanatory, you could probably look it up on Google, you can do that, but if you guys want to see a video on it, make sure you leave it in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. So what is heat soak? So heat soak is something that you shove a motor in and the space is really small. The motor's too big. Um, okay, the motor's too big for a little compartment. So heat soak, it, it, it soaks into the, the parts on the motor and it, 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 uh, it's too much heat. It's not meant for that much heat. Heat soak is, uh, it, it, it soaks into like the injectors and, and the throttle body parts. It's more than it can handle. So the symptoms of heat, sto uh, heat soak is you start it up, it sputters, it misses, it carry ons, it bucks, it just does all kinds of stuff. Now it doesn't do it overnight. Heat soak is something that happens when you, you're driving through town or whatever you're doing, then you stop going to the grocery store and come back out and you start it and it runs rough, it carries on, it gives you fits. That's heat soak. And there's so many ways that you can cure it. Uh, but it's not the right way. People put, a, they take their mechanical fan off and they put an electric fan on, which doesn't make any sense. That doesn't cure heat soak because when you shut the vehicle off, your electric fan turns off. So it doesn't make any sense. People also buy the little, uh, the little divider, like the tin foil thing. Now that helps a little bit, but that really don't cure heat soak because the the Jeep was not supposed to have the 4.0 in it. It was not supposed to have the 4.0 in it. So I'm glad that they you know took that turn to do that. But somewhere along the lines, they're like, hey, we're going to shove this big, long motor in there, and, and we're going to make it work. Because if you look in the XJ engine bay, it, you can just tell it's been shoved in there. You can tell that it was not meant to be in that vehicle. You, I mean, you can look it up. The 4.0 is not supposed to be in the XJ. So, there people cut holes in their hood. Now, that does help a little bit, but it does not solve the problem. Because there's still, when you shut off that vehicle, um, if, if you noticed, the hood sets down in the fender. And it, it just like it's just like a box. So, if you cut holes in your hood... Uh, it's going to let a little heat out, but if you shut your Jeep off, it, it, it just holds that heat. And what it does, it goes on all those the injectors the, and the fuel rail, the throttle body parts, and it heat soaks them. And they're not supposed, it's just too much heat. It, I mean, it, just, it soaks up all that heat because it's just, it's just that motor shoved in there. I mean, I'm telling you. So, one way to solve it, uh, people think, is like I said, cut holes in the hood, get electric fan. Yeah, that, the electric fan works great when you're driving if you have overheating issues. Uh, the hood vents work great when you're out on the trail and that fan's on and it's it's circulating the air out, so it, it keeps the motor cooler. Uh, it don't really benefit you to cut holes in your hood. Uh, for heat soak. It really don't benefit you to buy the little tinfoil divider thing. I don't know what it's called for heat soak. That doesn't benefit you at all. These are just little things that you're wasting money on that don't work. Um, you can wrap them. Um, a lot of people get success out of that. I I'm not saying that that doesn't work. You can wrap them and stuff. But here is what I recommend. You can get a timed relay. Now, you can't be running around on a battery that your grandpa gave you 13 years ago and try to make this work. You have to have a good battery in your Jeep. Um, so you need to get a time relay and you need to put it on your electric fan that's in your Jeep. And uh, you can set the time and everything and it's real easy to wire in and you hook it on a switch. And when you turn that switch on and turn it back off, that fan will run for however many minutes you have it set, that thing will run then it will kick off and that'll keep you from getting heat soak. It works 
because a lot of older Jeeps suffer from it. My 93 suffered from it and my 94 suffered from it. Just something about those years. Um, the newer one, I mean, they all suffer from it. It just, it, it depends how good your cooling system is, how you maintenance it. I had, you know, a Jeep that was perfect. Um, and it ran a little warm. I, everybody's like, oh, oh no, it's not supposed to move off 210. Apparently, you have not run any vehicle because any vehicle, even my new car, when it's really hot outside, it's just common sense. When it's like 95 degrees outside, my Chevy Cruze, my 2013 Chevy Cruze, will run just a little bit hotter. Okay? So it's natural for an XJ to do that. If you're sitting in traffic, it's going to run a little bit warmer. But the problem is, is when you stop and that heat soak happens. So I recommend getting that time relay wired into your fan and you hook, you just put a switch somewhere in your Jeep and you turn it on and turn it off. And like I said, however many, however many minutes you have that set on, that'll run and then it'll kick off by itself. That way you can go into the store and that fan will run, blow that hot air, you know, it'll, it'll try to get it out. And this is where hood vents will come in handy. If you have hood vents, when you're parked, that fan will blow and it'll just kind of blow it out of the hood. I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds stupid, but it works. If you want to solve heat soak, you can do this. Um, you can even buy the little divider thing and you can even wrap your uh, parts like people do. You can do all that too and then add the relay and uh, it'll work 10 times better. So it's all about thinking about what you're doing because yes, I did have hood vents in my Jeep Cherokee uh, because I slow crawled and with my electric fan on, with my electric fan on when I was slow crawling, it just kept circulating the heat out of the hood vents. I never, I never did hood vents to stop heat soak. Um, I would get it pretty bad every once in a while. So I, I never really did anything to solve heat soak and just till recently I, it occurred to me how stuff works. Because I never did understand when people say, well I got rid of the, the clutch fan because um, I got heat soak and I got an electric fan. But when you turn the vehicle off, the electric fan goes off. So I don't know where they got that from. But like I said, wrap, the, wrap your injectors, wrap your fuel rail, wrap all that stuff, um, get you some hood vents and put you a timed relay in that wiring harness or that fan so you can, f and, and put a switch inside, flip it on, then flip it off and it will run so long, then shut off. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so I hope this video helped you. Leave your feedback in the comments below. If you want to see a video on me installing one of these to a, or an electric fan, make sure you go ahead and do that because I'm telling you, it, it'll, it'll change the way you park your Jeep. Trust me. But I'm Cherokee Ronnie, and I'll see you guys next time.